The Egghead Island arc has succeeded in revealing various mysteries that have become a fan issue. As you all know, Egghead is the newest arc as well as the first arc of the final saga. The Egghead Island arc itself is still going on today, and a lot of new and interesting things have appeared throughout the story to date. However, what attracted my attention most was the number of mysteries in the series that were finally revealed in this arc. So, what are the big mysteries that have been uncovered in the Egghead arc? Jewelry Bonnie is a member of the worst generation, just like Luffy, Kid, and Law. Bonnie herself has had a lot of mysteries since her first introduction, from her powers of devil fruit to her origins. Speaking of Bonnie's origins, Oda provides clues as to how Bonnie is deeply connected to the figure of Bartholomew Kuma. After many speculations and theories which appeared among the fans, finally in chapter 1064 yesterday the mystery was revealed. According to the chapter, Kuma proves to be Bonnie's dad. Bonnie purposely went to Egghead Island to get revenge on Vegapunk for what he did to Kuma, transforming him into a heartless robot. Many fans speculated on the figure of Vegapunk, which is considered to have a relation with Luffy's father and the leader of the Revolutionary Army, Monkey D. Dragon, and their speculation was confirmed in Chapter 1072. In a flashback moment, it was shown how Dragon and Vegapunk were in Ohara after the Buster Call incident. In the flashback, we find out that Dragon and Vegapunk have known each other for a long time. Actually, the previous chapter also showed how Shaka, one of Vegapunk's satellites, contacted Dragon and requested his help because he knew his life was in danger. Currently, the fans are still waiting for what will happen to both of them. Still in connection with the incident that took place in Ohara, it turns out that the figure of Saul, who would have died so far, is still alive. The Ohara incident was one of the tragic and horrific events in One Piece. The world government has the heart to kill all scientists and scholars for learning about poneglyphs that contain past history. During the Buster Call, Saul sacrificed himself to protect Nico Robin in order to get away. At that time, it appears that Aokiji froze the former Marine, which led to speculation that Saul is actually still alive. In Chapter 1072, in the flashback of Vegapunk in Ohara, it is known that it is true that Saul is still alive even though he is injured. It is he who gave the order to some giants to save the drowned books. Saul himself is not known for his present situation, but he could be in the island of Elbolf. The name Vegapunk has long been introduced in the story of One Piece. For a long time, Oda Sensei has only given indications on Vegapunk through different references. For example, presenting only half his body, or mentioning if he is the most intelligent figure in the entire world. Oda finally revealed the true identity of Vegapunk on Egghead Island. It turns out that Vegapunk is an eccentric character, in which his character designs are most likely inspired by two great scientists in the real world, Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton. It also reveals why Vegapunk might be the most intelligent person in the world. Apparently, it was thanks to Nomi 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 which made his brain capacity unlimited. This is one of the big mysteries that unfolds in the Egghead arc. The Blackbeard Pirate is one of the most feared pirates on the ocean. Led by Marshall D. Teach, a Yonko, this pirate sows terror. After time skip, it is known that he and his group tried to chase diverse users of strong devil fruit to steal their powers. Can't see Blackbeard has come to Amazon Lily Island to steal Boa Hancock Mero Mero Nomi. However, in Chapter 1063, it was revealed that the Blackbeard Pirate succeeded in obtaining new powers of Devil Fruit when they confronted the Heart Pirate. The crew that finally got the Devil Fruit powers were Jesus Burgess, Van Auger, Doc Q, and Stronger. The Seven Warlords are one of the three major powers in the story of One Piece, where they are a counterweight to the three powers. In the beginning, the number of Seven Warlords according to his name is seven people. However, the figures have continued to diminish over time. Luffy has an important role to play in bringing that down. He was able to point out the great threat that the Seven Warlords have. At the time of the Reverie, the world government finally decided to dissolve this system and replace it with a new one, namely Seraphim. Had a big question. It turns out that Seraphim is a genetic engineering technology produced by Vegapunk. They are just as strong and more controllable than the Seven Warlords. What is also impressive is that the Seraphim are endowed with diverse abilities and powerful powers, like the powers of the Devil Fruit. 
The Gorose are a group under the umbrella of the world government and have the highest authority in the organization. The Gorose themselves are composed of five older men, each of whose identities must still be revealed. But many have made the assumption that they have extraordinary powers. The enigma about the Gorosei's identity has finally been revealed. One of the names of the Gorosei was eventually disclosed in chapter 1073. In the chapter, the Gorosei, who has natural scars on that part of his face, joins the ship from Kizaru to Egghead. And according to the information, the Gorosei is called Saint Jagarcia Saturn. Unfortunately, we still don't know the rest of the Gorosei's names. Among the various great mysteries which have been revealed in the Egghead Arc, the most extraordinary is when Vegapunk revealed the origins of the Devil Fruit. Devil Fruit is one of the essential things in the story of One Piece, which for 25 years Oda has kept his origins hidden. Oda himself promised in one of the columns of the SBS that it would be revealed later. As promised, Oda revealed the origins of the Devil Fruit through the figure of Vegapunk. However, what must be noted is that Vegapunk itself is still not sure of this. He described his explanation of the origins of the Devil's Fruit as a theory. Nevertheless, the foundation itself is clear, namely the Peneglyphs and all the information contained in Ohara. Stussy is an agent of CP0, and her cover as an Emperor of the Underworld. She operates under the epithet of the Queen of the Pleasure District. But in Chapter 1072, it was revealed that Stussy is a clone of a former Rocks pirate named Buckingham Stussy. Additionally, she is the first successful clone experiment by Mads, a now defunct group of scientists. Mystery is one of the most interesting story elements that Ichiro Oda has presented throughout the One Piece story. There are many questions and mysteries that arise, which is one of the reasons for the story of One Piece is still in progress today. Towards the end of the story, one at a time, the mystery is finally revealed. 